Okay, everybody, just a really, really quick, quick update um, as I have to hit the bricks here shortly. But uh, I started to put the electric start uh, kit on uh, on the Predator, the 212cc. Um, and just really quick for your information, these aftermarket parts, uh, these aftermarket kits that you get, um, this is this is the Hemi. It's got the... Uh, uh, cast aluminum uh, valve cover. This is the original flywheel uh, with a three-quarter inch taper. This is the aftermarket flywheel that comes with it. Um, it's actually really nice. Uh, it's got the, uh, the flywheel ring. Uh, and it's got two magnets on the inside for your uh, charging coil. However, 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 Uh, the taper is very much a different size. Uh, it will not fit on this motor. So, having said that, what I'm thinking is, and you'll see here, um, actually let's do it the other way. What I'm thinking is I will probably have to take this to a machine shop and get them to open this up. Now this is the old one, this is the new one with the teeth and we're just gonna put this right on top, okay? Because it's not I who am crazy, it is I who am mad, but it, as you can see right there, there is a difference and that is enough that it will only allow it to go onto the shaft that far. The flywheel has to go all the way back. We're still going to have to put spacers for the starter. That's a dirty bolt. We're going to have to put spacers for the starter. Um, but it has to come down to at least that far. Okay, and you can see basically where the old one sat. And this is where the new one, uh, that's as far as the new one got. So... If you're going to put a electric starter kit on your Predator and you have the new version, you're going to run into this. So, again, take it to a machine shop, let them open it up, or the other option is, uh, I believe NR Racing uh, sells this flywheel ring that you could have a machine shop uh, put on for you but you're still going to have to have uh, the flywheel shaved um, so that you get the right, uh, the right height. And you can see it's pressed on, but in order for that to happen, they have to uh, relieve that. Uh, and then, of course, obviously, you would have to tap it and put your, uh, your magnets in. So... I haven't talked to any machine shops yet. I don't know what's going to be more cost effective or or the other option is uh, Kohler makes a flywheel that purportedly will go right on to the 212 Predator. Um, but I have to do a little more looking at that. That's 60 bucks, uh, 70 bucks I think is the cheapest I could find it for for the for the Kohler to, to go on. I do not know uh, number one, if the machine shop can open this or open this up, uh, and if they can, what's it going to cost? So as soon as I find out, I'll let you all know. But understand that you will run into that problem. Um, but the charging coil goes on beautifully. Um, starter's cool. Uh, I did pull the gas tank. We're going to do a pulse pump, um, and I am going to tap in the. Uh, I'm going to tap in for my vacuum where the governor was. The governor is gone. So, catch up with you guys uh, as soon as I get an update.